In this shortcut tutorial I will show you how to create a vertical or portrait video clip which has a duplicate that is stretched and blurred as a background. I've assumed you have some knowledge of editing in OpenShot. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, I've got this set up to actually play with proxies and on later versions of um, Shotcuts uh, you have that option and just very quickly it makes editing in Shotcut a lot easier so I advise using the latest version. Anyway, what I need to do here with this video, first of all, in Track 1 or V1 I need to stretch it. So if you come over to your filters and then press the plus sign you've got something called size and position. Select this. This should show up in your favourites if it doesn't just select video but anyway size and position and this will bring your video probably to the left like this. What you need to do is select distort and this will actually have the effect of stretching your video so that's distort and now if you come up to the plus button again and then select this what you're looking for is blur and it probably won't be in the favorites you might need to go into video up here so select video and then select blur I'm going to select blur Gaussian and you can adjust the amount of blur to suit so I don't know we'll take this up to I don't know that's saying 62 you can adjust yours to suit and once you've done that if you place your pointer in this sort of greeny color here it says V1 right click and then select add video track come back down to the playlist and drag your video back into track 2 and this will happen and you might be happy with that but if you want to do some adjustments make sure you've selected the video in track 2 and again come to your filters select plus what you're actually looking for, I'll go back to favourites, it's easier to find. Select rotate and scale. And then you can increase the size of your video clip if you want, just to fill it out. Like something like that. That looks pretty good. And you can also change the position if you want as well. So in Y, I could sort of move it slightly don't go too mad to change the position I'm going to just use this uh, reset to default button to bring it back to the middle and that's basically all there is to it um, like I said at the beginning I assume you've got some knowledge of working in um, shortcut so you just go ahead now and render your video or export your video Hopefully that's helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.